So by now we're familiar with all of the amazing models that Leonardo AI has given us. Create the images you're looking for with these Leonardo AI custom models. And that's one of the things that makes Leonardo AI so incredibly useful because you have all these fine-tuned models that give you a nice visual example of what you want to create. You simply choose that Leonardo AI model and that's the type of characteristic and look of the image you'll get. For over 100 prompts to try, click the link in the description. But what if there's an image you have in mind and there's not really a fine-tuned model that you could choose to make exactly what you're looking for. For example, a coloring book. That's where these community custom models come into effect. So I've personally went through each and every single Leonardo AI community custom model and I chose some of the best ones that might be helpful for you guys today. It's true. And I'm also going to provide you with a prompt to go with it and try for yourself. So now that we have Leonardo AI open, of course, this is where you can find all of the fine-tuned models. And so on the left hand side, you just simply select fine tune models. And then we have platform models at the top, community models, your models, and favorite models. So when you select community models, that's where all the custom model lives that all these generous users have made for us. We're going to go through some of my favorites that are going to be incredibly helpful for you. So the first two we're actually going to start with are going to be extremely beneficial for specific t shirt designs, t shirt graphics. And so the first one I'm going to share with you guys today is actually called t shirt print. So let me go ahead and scroll down, and then you can see it right here. It's called t shirt shirt print. Once you expand it, you can see sort of what the images are that you can make. Now watch this. So when it comes to this model, check out what I was able to make with this cool prompt right here. And so if you look on your screen right here, here it says metrics mule and it's a sticker pack. Look at this pretty cool prompt. Not bad. And so here's the prompt. Sticker pack, cyberpunk character riding a bike, graffiti art, chrono breaker style. Okay. So when I click to expand it, you can see it did a pretty good job. Okay. I'll show you guys one more. So same prompt. And then here's what made for me here. Moving on. So speaking of t-shirt prints, I do have one more to show you guys. And this one's actually called t-shirt design. So look at, on your screen right here, you can see that this makes some pretty good designs as well. And then you can see what I was able to make with this one for t-shirt design. A scene of a classic car from the 50s, t-shirt design, watercolor, intricate detail, retro style, bright colors. So when I open up and expand this, you can see kind of a cool spin on a classic 50s style car. And then there we have it right there. And so speaking of t-shirt designs and prints, here's another one I want you guys to take a look at. Now check this one out. This is actually called t-shirt design. So the first one was called t-shirt print. This one's called t-shirt design. Check this out. As I scroll down, you can see pretty cool designs with this custom model that somebody made for us. Okay, so the next one I want to show you guys is a common question I get quite a bit is how do I make coloring books? So the one we're going to take a look at right now is called adult coloring book. You could look at all these, but I'm going to show you this one right now for adult coloring book and then show you a pretty good prompt that you could use with it. Okay, so here's one that's pretty good using the adult coloring book one, and then here's the prompt. Symmetrical elephant in the jungle, black outline, black and white, no background. Pretty simple. Okay, I have that one, and then also gave me this one right here. And so it's not bad. It's a little bit grayscale, but that can be easily changed by just changing up the prompt a little bit. But if I go back and I actually look at this community model's images, you could see it's going to give us a nice variety of images to choose from. And then there you have it. You could see a few of the pretty cool images for this adult coloring book model. Now this next one is very impressive and I like to use this quite a bit just to see what it can come up with. This one's called Marble Characters. When I click to open it, check this out right here. Marble Characters, pretty cool image. And so I have a prompt that you can use for this too. Now this might make some pretty good logos or even some vector type files because you can get a pretty minimalistic and simple background like you see right here, blue. That way you can easily remove the backgrounds and have a transparent or a PNG file. So with that said, here's a prompt that you can use it's just quite simple. All you have to do is just literally use this community model and I just put in owl wrapped in flowers. Simple prompt, owl wrapped in flowers. Then again, same thing, same exact prompt, very simple, owl wrapped in flowers. And then it gives me this pretty cool looking owl right here. It's like, look at this one right here with this skull. This is pretty cool, look at that. And so this is just by using this fine tuned model that this creator made for us. Okay, so the next one is one of my favorites too. And it's simple, it's just this one's called Pixar Dragon's Full Bodies. Look at this one I made right here. Here's the prompt, baby dragon, vibrant, blue gradient colors. And now again, with a lot of these fine-tuned models, it makes it very easy. Your prompts don't have to be too descriptive or complex. And so you can see the image right here. Again, I'll show you. All I said was baby dragon, vibrant blue gradient colors. Pretty good job. And then here's the other one it made for me. Same thing, same prompt. I like the way this looks. So again, this actual model was Pixar Dragon's full bodies. But what's cool about this is that when you put in a different sort of prompt, you can put in a very detailed one. Everything's going to kind of emulate a dragon. So even if you put in like this image here, a lion, it's still has some of the same dragon characteristics. It's pretty unique. Now this next one I really like a lot. And this one is called Isometric House Illustration. 
illustrations. And so you could see this one I did right here. Very simple. Isometric modern Japanese house. Look at that. It's pretty cool. So you have like a small, tiny model type house. Isometric neon house. Look at that. Isometric neon house. And I'll go back to that one. Take a look at this one. Same thing. So pretty cool. And so again, you can see over here, this is called isometric house illustration. Now this next one's pretty cool and pretty creative too. It's called splash stop motion. Now check this out. Once I open it up, you can kind of see what it's going to make for you. Realistic photography, watermelon drops, water motion. And then look at that. You have some explosion, watermelon or explosions of fruit. So this is pretty cool too. If you look at the image, this does a pretty good job. And so going back over to uh, my page, you can see some of the things I made over here. Now I actually took some of these same prompts and I tried this in a different fine tuned model. And so in this case, I used photo real and it gave me this image right here. And so it gave me this nice fruit basket, this nice fruit cup with an explosion. So that basically wraps it up just for showing you guys a quick handful of some of my favorite community models. But as you can see on your screen right here, I do have a lot more bookmark. Another one I liked, I kind of left off, was the neon vector one. Now this is cool to create some kind of vector neon looking logos. And so you can see some of these prompts right here. This fine tuned model is called just simple neon vectors. And then look what it can kind of create for you. Pretty good job. And so easy to remove this background. This could serve as a good logo or mascot vibrant neon colors and then look how simple the prompt is elephant vector logo vibrant colors high quality and that's all you need with some of these fine-tuned models a simple prompt but thanks so much for watching this video and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out but until then we'll see you next time